The thing for libertarians to know is that the blockchain is our trump card, libertarians' trump card, because for 6,000 years, humans have been engaging in consensual exchange. I find you to be an optimist about the future, and it's really linked to your, your understanding of, of technology and how that liberates people. Um, let me ask you first, why, why, why did you become one of the early adopters, advocates of, of Bitcoin as, as the founder of Overstock.com? Everyone needs to know the main event of Bitcoin is not Bitcoin. It is the blockchain. It's the technology underneath Bitcoin. Well, think of blockchain as like a ledger. Like your grandfather ran a hardware store and had one of those big old fashioned dusty ledgers. But this ledger is magical. And it's magical in the following way. First, there are copies of it all over the world. And when a change is made in one, it instantly changes in all the other ones too. Secondly, it's cryptographically protected. So we can define it that only certain hands can write in it, only certain eyes can, can read certain pages, etc. If you had a magic ledger like that, there's all kinds of things you could replace. When you apply this technology to money, you can create things like Bitcoin, but you can also apply this technology to all kinds of other things like a stock market and create a fair, honest, impossible to cheat stock market. You can apply it to functions of government and totally disrupt government and taxing and monetary systems and so on and so forth. The thing for libertarians to know is that the blockchain is our trump card, libertarians trump card, because for 6,000 years, humans have been engaging in consensual exchange. And because they can't trust each other, they create these other institutions that we can't trust each other, so we just trust it. We trust the land titling office, we trust the Mint, we trust an IRS, we trust a Visa card company, et cetera, et cetera. We trust a stock market. Well, we can, with blockchain, we can actually go back to having consensual exchange without those third party institutions to inject trust, which is the good, good news because we libertarians know that those institutions get captured and corrupted over time. Our founding fathers knew that was the great problem. It was Federalist number 10, that was the problem they hadn't solved. And now we can go about, we can build a civilization with this kind of exchange without those, trust, uh, those third party institutions. Pretty wild. 6,000 years of history we suddenly get to fork from and create a whole new way of doing things.